Hey everybody, this is Keyblader007, and we have a new event for Aqua. Um, this is the KH 2.8 launch celebration. The game comes out in a few days in North America, and I think the UK as well. I think it's a simultaneous release. It's been out in Japan for two weeks, I think, something like that. So, this HD exclusive Aqua Medal was given for free when the game was first announced sometime last year. And I have it, but I couldn't guilt it because they only gave you one. This event gives you seven. Oh, it gives you six and you get a free one for logging in. So, yeah, seven. Uh, this goes from the 20th to February 2nd, so this is a pretty long event. Two weeks. Celebrate the release of Kingdom Hearts 2.8 and get an HD Aqua Medals. A HD Aqua Medals. K Kingdom Hearts HD 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue <gasps> is almost here, and it's time to celebrate, defeat enemies, and open treasure chests to collect event coins to progress through the event board. You can get great prizes from the event board, such as the limited HD Aqua Medal, as well as Huey, Dewey, Louie, and Moogle Medals. Yay for those last ones. <laughs> those suck. Worst prizes in the game. In addition to the six HD Aqua Medals obtainable from the event board, all players who log on during this event period will receive a free HD Aqua Medal. Collect all seven and unlock her special attack bonus. Tips for the event. Find the huge shenanigan. The shenanigan drops a large amount of event coins. If you're lucky to find the huge shenanigan, it drops even more event coins, which can boost your progress through the event board. Try your best to hunt them both down. So, the huge shenanigan is like a red egg, kind of like the egg cognito. They they like to be very punny with these names, and there's no boss for raid coins or or event coins this time around. And there's four events: there's beginner, intermediate, advanced, legendary. And the boards are over here. I have not unlocked anything except for these first two because I wanted to save it for the camera. And I'll guilt it for you guys. I, I do have a reroll, but if I get a bad guilt, I'm going to save that reroll for a guilt campaign. Since it's my original one I got. So, let's start out here. These quests get a little AP heavy as you go along. So if you need to farm it, it's going to be a little annoying. So we have, for 5 AP, the beginner quest. A large body level 25. Defeat all enemies within one turn. You get some jewels. We would have to continue. Um, you get some coins and use three or more special attacks. You get some coins, so you, you believe you get 30 of each for the first event. Okay, so I need to do two special attacks. So I'll just use this build. I mean, three special attacks. Here's one guy. That's one special attack. There's the giant egg shenanigan guy. Large body. Two special attacks. Three special attacks. So right there, that'll give us all of the banners, I mean, the objectives you need, just when you beat everybody up. I think these guys take several hits to kill, so you want to take a medal with a multi-hit, like HP Sora or a Waff medal. There's a treasure chest down here. Sometimes eggs can spawn down there, though. You want to finish it off with a Nova, because they're weak. My Nova is quite ridiculous at this point, but, yeah. And this would give you your objectives normally. I'm going to put a screenshot. Oh, yeah, you get event coins just normally for doing it. You get a decent amount, but not significant, because you need about almost 9,000 to get everything. I'm going to put a screenshot right now of the prizes you get for the objectives completed right here. So you get, like I said, 30 jewels and 30 event coins times two. Hey, let's move on. 
Now we have the intermediate, which is green. As you see, these things always go in colors. Armored archers level 50, defeat all enemies within one turn, you get some jewels, complete without having to continue, you get some jewels, and inflict 5,000 or more damage with one hit, excluding Nova, you get something. So, I want to take a different build, because I want to do a significant amount of damage. 5,000 is not really hard to hit, I should be able to hit it with one of these metals. Dang it. Actually, that might have been over 5,000 just by itself. Just I Kyrie did 5,000 damage. The egg guys, don't try to do that in challenge with the damage on the egg guys. You can only do one damage to those dudes, no matter what you do. Unless you have like a Beast, or a TR Mickey, or a KH Yuffie. That was only like 2,000 damage, but like I said, I'm pretty sure the Ikari got it for us. Just to be safe. Okay, 2,000 damage. For each guy. But yeah, a single target metal that's not AoE would probably be better. Or, well, no, you could do AoE, but mm, one hit. So my Goofy wasn't the best example of that, but I'm pretty sure the Ikari got enough damage. And again, I'm going to show you the screenshot I took of the objectives completed. You get 60 event coins this time and 30 jewels. Coming back, you get the to the advanced level. It's blue. Feed all enemies within one turn. Can complete without having to continue and equip only speed medals. So make sure you have a build with all speed medals. Otherwise, you're gonna have to redo this. So I made this build right here, which has all speed medals. I didn't have this when I was originally doing it, but yeah, that was a nice pull from my pull videos. If you want to check that out. And again, it doesn't matter what you take for share, because it only matters what you equip yourself. So we just gotta kill everything and win. Pretty straightforward. Ignore that dog barking in the background. Everything's pretty weak here, so I'm just gonna use this as an opportunity to get back some gauge. Except this guy. You want to do a lot of hits to the eggs with one metal, just so you don't have to worry about them. So this is a big area. There's like a lot of things here. There's a gauge box right there. Another enemy right here. And there's a treasure chest hidden behind him. There's another egg asshole. Those waft metals are really strong when they're gilted. If they're chipped, they're also pretty strong on gilted. So you, you want to get these shenanigan guys to appear a lot because they give you the most event coins, and especially the big ones. Copter fleets are weak. I mean, they're not really fleets, they're just little copter guys. These guys will die in six swipes. And again, you want to finish it off with a Nova. Nice. And just like last time, I'll show you a screenshot of the normal objective rewards since I've already gotten them. 
awards that I show you, the regular awards, so you get a decent amount, a couple of 200, 120. And here's the screenshot I was talking about. Um, you get 80 event coins, twice for the objective, and again, 30 jewels. Coming back, our final event is the legendary event. With the Morning Star at uh, level 120, defeat all enemies within one turn, complete without having to continue, and obtain all treasure, open all treasure chests. So you want to make sure everything you find is opened up. So. Let's walk around here. Some enemy <clears throat> right there. Just a simple little Camaro. Whoops. My jack and sound like can handle pretty much anybody on this level of damage. Just gotta open every single box. Including this green one, I always usually miss the green ones. Nothing over here. Giant egg. I'm gonna use HD Sora on him. So it took, it just heard his 8 hits, it took about 10 hits. There's another box. Some more egg guys. The um, shenanigan eggs. They called it egg cognito before, I mean it may uh, made a mistake. Just double check, we don't have anyone left over here. And I don't think there's any chests left. I believe we got everything. At this point, you just want to blow it all to hell with the uh, Anova. You notice I didn't use Ikari in this build, even though it would have made my Nova significantly stronger. I didn't think it was necessary for the level of enemies. Usually legendary quests are difficult. Not this time. Oh, we got a level up. Nice. So this is the one you'll get the most out of your event coins. So you get 250... 20 is 120. This is the one you want to uh, can farm the hell out of. And here's a screenshot of everything completed. The objectives completed. I forgot to screenshot it when I got everything because I didn't get the open treasure chest the first try. But again, you get 30 jewels and you get 100 objective completed for the event coins for each um, one of the coins. And as I said, See, it's AP5, AP10, 15, and 20. So they keep going up, 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 up. So we have 10,000 coins. Let us start with unlocking everything. These rewards are such garbage, except for the Aquas. Could have at least put some Chippendales and Sids on here, or a mirror. Make it worthwhile. Nice. Uh, you get a title just calling yourself Aqua. That's Aqua Board 1, I know Aqua Set 2. Yeah, there's literally nothing good on these boards besides the Aqua Metal. I'd rather get some Evolve materials, like Fantasia Mickeys. And you get a money medal for your completion on that one. So our boards are complete. Let's guilt our medal. I believe it's a 5 star that they give us. Yeah, it is. <clears throat> so, to be smart, I'm keeping this one locked, because that's my reroll, if anything. Get a 3.1 aqua. Get 
get rid of some materials. I have so many red, I just like to use red. This is an HD, first HD metal in the game. You notice nothing changed on the art, just the border. So to do this properly, I'm just going to do a one dot. My base HD Aqua is already um, 6 star because like I said I got her so long ago. She's already, see, there she is. She had poison on her. She has a random effect, deals 9 extremely powerful hits. She was the first random metal in the game before Meow Justy and Vanitas. And she's the only blue random metal as far as I know. Maybe there's a tier 4 blue. I don't remember. I think there's a couple random metals in tier 4. But for tier 3 this is what she is. I already sitted her a long time ago. Probably gonna take that poison off now that she's actually gonna be guilted. And hopefully we get a good reroll. So by newest, one, two, initialize guilting. Come on, Aqua. Give me something good. Do -do -do -do. Oh. oh, gross. That's evil. Alright, well, this metal is garbage now. So, yep, definitely saving that reroll for a guild campaign. We guilted Aqua, yay. I have the worst guilting luck lately. Used it all up on that Marley B. Alright guys, so that's the 2.8 launch Aqua event. I'm sure there'll be more 2.8 events next week when the game actually comes out. So, see you guys.